People usually think weak bone come from not getting enough calcium, but that's not really the whole story. Here's what's happening inside your body. The bones we have right now, one year from now, they're almost gone. Sounds crazy, right? But it's true. That's because bone is always remodeling. One side is building a new bone and the other side is breaking it down. Because these two processes happen together, your bones look the same on the outside. Now imagine this, if bone building slows down while bone breaking down keeps going at the same pace, your bone gets thinner and weaker. That's exactly how osteoporosis develops. So as we get older, which side usually has the problem? Most of the times, it's the building side. The bone making cells get sluggish while the cell breaking down bone just keep doing their job. Over time, the gap widens, bone density drops. So in idle world, the treatment will be boost the bone building side. And there are medications that can do that, but it's not easy and they're not always the first choice. So what doctors usually do is to slow down the breakdown side. That's where medication like bisphosphonate and Rankel blockers comes in. They reduce the activity of a bone dissolving cells, which helps balance things out. But of course, every medication come with the risk. And with these drugs, you may have heard of two famous side effects, jawbone problem and unusual fracture in the thigh bone. The rankle blocker can also cause very low calcium in your blood or rebound bone loss if you suddenly stop taking it. So now here's the part most people overlook. When they think of bones, they just think of heart. And then when they think of heart, they think calcium. So they start popping calcium pills. But calcium deficiency isn't the only reason bones get weak. Because in modern diet, what really matters more often are fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamin D, vitamin K2, and even vitamin A play crucial role. When you don't have enough vitamin D, your body can't use calcium properly. When you don't have vitamin K2, the calcium you take in may not get directly into the bone. And the vitamin A, in the right amount, helps regulate bone cell activity. So yes, calcium is important, but bigger picture is this. If you don't support the bone building side with the right nutrient, then simply slowing down the breakdown side with medication is an idle solution. That's why I believe it's smarter to make sure your vitamin D, K2, and A are in balance to support natural process of bone building. That way, you're not just holding back your destruction of bone, but you're actively encouraging your body to rebuild strong, healthy skeleton for the wrong run.